Hey, hello, welcome back. Okay, so we're going to take her to the pet cafe. War war, jig. When puppies who hung around the entrance ran towards Mia, Mia seemed to be startled. Hey, puppies, still still. When I try to pull those puppies' attentions, attention, Mia stopped me. No, no, Steven, it's all right. You sure? You look a bit, you look a bit scared. No, I like puppies. I told you before. Really? Yeah, I was just surprised because it's my first, my first, my first time. Mia carefully pat the puppies as she walked towards our seat. Thank goodness, I thought I brought you to the ground place again. Uh, it is, it says again because, I don't know, but let's carry on. No, I love it. Unless it's a huge dog, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Mia really seemed to relax. She hugged one Maltese who was sitting on her lap. Lucky, you bastard. <laughs> I couldn't envy, envy that Maltese any much more as, she, as he looked happy, sleeping in her arms. When I see cute dogs like this, I really would like to raise them. Right, since it's you, I know you, you'll, you'll take good care of them. Hmm, but my dad hates animals and in the first place, so I can't. I see, too bad. Well, there are places like this, so it's alright. Gee, he's drawing, so cute. Mia was looking at her at the Maltese with eyes full of love. Don't get jealous of dogs, Steven. Instead, I tried to grab Mia's attention by changing the topic. Did you know that you can buy snacks for pets and the, at the counter over there? Oh, really? Mia stood up from her seat faster than I expected. Now, go ahead and sleep, boo boo. Mia put the puppy down that was sleeping on her lap and walked toward the, towards the counter with me. At the moment, a bell rang as the pets and the pet cafe's door opened. And behind the door was Woof woof, a huge dog that she mentioned earlier was standing there breathing hard. Oh sorry, he just finished his walk. The cafe staff apologized and asked for an understanding. Understanding. We're fine, yikes. The huge dog entered the cafe and started to sniff around as he walked and jeek at last the dog sniffed towards Mia e Mia froze not being able to do anything the cafe staff spoke with a bright laugh he's a male that's why he likes girls more than boys but he's really a calm boy uh, okay but the staff's words didn't seem to help me at, at all. Sniff, sniff. Ah, uh, okay. The huge dog walked around and Mia walked around and ah. Uh, the huge dog walked around and around Mia and sniffed all over the place. He seemed like he seemed to like Mia quite a lot. Well, go away! Mia's face was red and looked as if she was about to cry. I could tell, I could tell even from a glance that she looked terrified. Steven, can you this dog? Oh, sure. 
but why did I suddenly think of something playful at the moment? Mia, not knowing what to do, looks cute. Should I tease her? Yes, you should. I went towards her and as if I was going to help her, then tossed, tossed a dog snack towards her and stepped back. Wow! The huge dog that sniffed Mia seemed very happy to see the snack. Yeek! The huge dog, as if he was hugging Mia, raised her, his paws and ran towards Mia. Sorry, are you okay? The dog was eating the snack happily, and Mia lost her, lost her balance. Then, she had fallen down on her butt. Oh, MG, I'm so sorry. It was a joke. Steven, you... Mia couldn't get up for a while because her legs had no strength due to nervousness. But that pose, I can see it. <laughs> However, it wasn't quite right to appreciate seeing Mia's underwear where <laughs> when she fell over because of me. Now get up, I'll hold you. No, no, forget it. Even, even when I said, or even when she said not, Mia grabbed my hand. Got ya. I pulled her up hard at once. I'll put, I pulled her up hard at eyes. This is so complicated to say. Yikes, Mia, whose legs had been loosened, couldn't overcome the strength of the pull and fell into my arms. Ah. I felt something similar to a soft cushion crumbling around my pit of the stomach. This, this is it? The, that Maltese earlier, boy, you have been huge. You have been huge in a such... Ah, yeah. That Maltese earlier, boy, you have been huge, huge, hot, hot, in such a great place. When I was about, when I was in full jealousy mode towards the puppy from earlier, Mia pressed my arm down with her both arm, with her both arm hands, ah, to push her, to push herself up. I'm really so bad. Thanks. No, I was just, there was a little awkward air between us and got very hot in the moment. I'm hungry now, let's go eat. Oh, is it? When Mia went to put on her shoes, I walked up to the huge dog and gave him a little pat on his head. Thank you, boy. And so we're going to go outside. Alright, then I'm out I'm out quite far now. Should have brought a bicycle or something? Well I well it could have been just bulky if I did. Crash Huh? What does what was that? When I turned back I could see two figures far away. Although I couldn't see their faces exactly from the distance, I could clearly see that it was a high school girl and an old man. And between them was a bicycle lying down with its wheels spinning. A bicycle crash? Oh no, I'm sorry, are you okay sir? Hey, you should have watched out at a narrow road like here. What would have happened if I hadn't watched out this time? Sorry, I'm so sorry. The girl apologized multiple times to the man. Alright, I'm just letting you up for this time, kid. Gotta be careful from now on. Yes, I will. Thank you, sir. The girl made a broad smile 
picked up her bicycle and rode off. See that? It wasn't a good idea to take a bicycle out here. But wait, that girl, strangely, she looks so familiar. She looks familiar. Nah, she was too pretty. Do I really know her? Oh, maybe I should have gotten closer and take a look. Somehow feels very familiar. Mm -hmm. Having a good time at school, today is the selec selection day. The only day that you can choose to transfer to another school. Only one, chain, only one chance to select. Choose your option carefully. Okay. Ah, what should I do? Um, we're going to le to live here. No, no. We're going to go to a school. We're going to stay in the same school to see if we can. Uh, nah, whatever. Fifty real period after lunch. Like always, I get extra sleepy around this hour. Ah, teacher's explanation sounds very lullaby. Lullaby, sorry. I should have fallen asleep. No, I can't. OMG, when I opened my eyes, it was already break time. Sighed, I dressed off, I dressed off again. Huh? I checked on my elbow because I felt a paper underneath. So rest, so rest during the lunch time instead of playing soccer, you dummy Steven. On the corner of the read note was Mia's message, hand writing, high reading. Is it the joy of, <sighs> is it the joy of attending to a co-ed school? So now we're going to live here. Uh, I know that I read quite awful this time. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me. Uh, I was nervous, I I supposed. So, uh, thanks for watching, I guess. And see you in the next part. Bye.